Hi everyone, it's Mimi. Thanks for joining me for another video on my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll show you how I created this beachy sunset tumbler. So grab your supplies and let's get started. Off screen, I have already sanded and spray painted my tumbler. I used a total of six different colors to get this look. I'll make sure to list all the colors I use down below. I'll be applying my glitter using the epoxy method. I've already mixed up 20 milliliters of KS resin liquidy split and with a gloved hand I'm spreading the resin around the entire cup. You want to make sure you have a nice even coat around the entire tumbler. Out of the 5 milliliters that I had mixed up, I only ended up using less than 2.5 mLs. Once I'm sure the entire cup is fully covered with epoxy, I'll go ahead and lay down my glitters. I'm starting at the bottom of my tumbler with the sand portion. I mix two colors, champagne and sand dollar from BJ's Glitter to create this color. With the cup bottom facing upwards at a slight angle, I'm starting to add my glitter by tapping the top of my glitter cup with my index finger. Doing it this way allows me to control how much glitter lands on my cup and where. For this first round, I'm not trying to get full coverage yet. I'll be doing a second coat, so any spots that aren't covered will be taken care of then. Once I'm happy with the line that I've created with this first glitter, I do make sure to hit up the bottom so that I don't miss it later on. Once you're done with this portion, make sure to go ahead and tap off the excess glitter so we can move on to the next color. For this mint section, I'm going to be using Mint Diamond from BJ's. To apply this, I'll start with my cup horizontal to lay the majority of the glitter down. I'm not concentrating too heavily on blending yet, but as I do, I'll tilt the cup towards the previous color. I do the same process for each color moving up the cup. And always remember that you do want to make sure that you tap off the excess when moving on to the next color so that you don't contaminate your glitters. So I'll let you go ahead and watch the process and I'll be back when all the glitter is on my cup.
After I'm happy with the glitter coverage, I'll tap off all the excess and let it cure for a few hours before moving on to my first coat of epoxy. Before adding the epoxy, I did seal the glitter twice using a clear spray paint. I let those layers completely dry before putting it on my turner. Here is another 20 ml of my KS resin and with the gloved hand, I'm spreading the resin around the entire cup. You want to make sure you have a nice even coat around the entire tumbler. Once it's fully coated, I'll take my butane torch and sweep it across my tumbler. The heat from the torch helps pop the bubbles on the surface. When doing this, make sure that you make quick, short passes, otherwise you could risk burning your resin. Because I'm using a fast setting resin, I can recoat again in about two to three hours. After my coat has completely cured, I'll add another coat to add the waves and clouds. I mixed up another 20 ml of epoxy and separated out 5 ml into a separate cup. I then added the tiniest amount of white pigment paste. My favorite is this Lorez Angel White, and I'll be using that to create my clouds and waves. I'll first add the 15 milliliters of epoxy onto my spinning tumbler, making sure to get a nice even coat. Again, I'll use my torch to pop any bubbles. To create the clouds, I use my gloved finger to spread my white onto my cup. I find that this is the easiest method for me to get the look of clouds. This is totally personal preference, so continue adding the white until you're happy with how it looks. I'll then take my heat gun to slightly warm up my cloudy section and spread out the white. I do this very minimally and quickly since I don't want too much movement. For my wave section, I'll be adding my white using a small stir stick. I loaded up some of the white epoxy on my stick and am now stringing it across my tumbler. I'll make several lines repeating the same process. Now I'll take a little bit of clear resin and I'll add lines of this right above where I place my white lines. This is to help create the cells and lacing in the next step. I then take my heat gun and warm up the area first just to get the epoxy moving a bit. I'll then concentrate my heat gun right on the white lines and angle the heat to push the white up and over the clear. Doing this creates a more realistic looking wave. If you feel like the area has too much of the white blending together, feel free to wipe portions off your cup with a gloved hand. Then repeat the same process until you get the look that you're happy with. Now that I'm happy with the placement of my clouds and waves, 
I'll go ahead and torch it one last time to get rid of any remaining bubbles and then I'll let this spin and cure for two to three hours and then add another layer. I did wait for that second layer to fully cure before going ahead and sanding the entire cup. Here I'm just showing you some close-ups of what the waves and the clouds look like. I did make sure to go ahead and wash my cup with Dawn dish soap and water and made sure that it was thoroughly dry so that we can move on to the decal process. This is a decal that I'll be using. I got this off of Etsy. I will make sure to put a link to it down in the description box below if you want to find it. I've already gone ahead and cut it out and weeded it. And now I'm just burnishing it down so that the transfer tape grabs all of the decal and it comes off the backing easily. With my tumbler steady, I usually go ahead and just eyeball the placement. I kind of hover over the area and make sure that the decal is as straight as possible. I'll then slowly lower my decal and starting in the center, I'll smooth it out and make sure that I don't have any bubbles or crinkling of my vinyl. I'll then use my squeegee to burnish it down before removing my transfer tape. And here is what my tumbler looks like with the decal applied. I only had to apply one final coat of epoxy, let it fully cure, and we're all done. This cup is so simple yet so beautiful. I really hope you give this design a try. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that bell notification so you know whenever I upload a new video. On screen are a couple more videos that you might be interested in. Thank you all so much for stopping by, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye!